what is good guys and welcome back another lamar jackson career mode video if you guys have not already i know it just started but smash that thumbs up let's see if we can get the most thumbs up we've gotten in a while i know a lot of you guys have been saying you haven't been getting um uh these videos in your sub boxes make sure you guys also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these videos but you guys are seeing we are trying to improve lamar jackson's stats continue to um make him an mvp type player that he is now he has been fumbling a lot and that is my fault i have been trying to do a lot of hurdles and stuff like that trying to break tackles with him and he's not that type of a uh, quarterback we have improved as you guys can see his passing so now he's going to be a lot more accurate uh going forward in the season now we are seven and one sitting on top of the division right now browns are five and three Bengals are two and five and seals are four and four so we look to be in a very good spot to win this division win a couple more games and we'll do just that and we will clinch a playoff spot jaguars are leading their division patriots are leading their division at five and three which is no surprise at all dolphins are one and seven they are last in their division which is terrible chargers five and three looking very good broncos raiders chiefs all chasing them or yeah chasing the chargers all right behind them the nfc north is looking semi-competitive it's like a race almost between the packers and the vikings vikings are five and three uh Vi packers excuse me are three and four now this division nfc south is looking very good very competitive six and one falcons six and two panthers five and two saints the buccaneers well better luck next season because you guys are not making the playoffs you guys are seeing the nfc east maybe the hardest division in the NFL every team is pretty good and the Redskins are sweeping up the bottom right now and the Eagles are flying high at the top of the division at six and two Giants and Cowboys both tied at four and three um so it's it's competitive Saquon Barkley is on the Giants you guys know all the rookies are there so if you guys have seen any team with a very good rookie or if you guys are a fan of any team that has a rookie that was drafted this year comment that down below and let me know what do you guys think about your team if you see them right here? Now, the Ravens, that's my team right now. We're sitting pretty at the number one power ranking team. Seahawks are two, Falcons three, Eagles four, Panthers five, Saints are number six, and the Cardinals are number seven. So let me know what power ranking your team is and how your team is doing in the season. All right, so the first play of the game right here, we're going to hand the ball off. No, we're not. Tricking them all day long. And look at Lamar Jackson. I could have been gone. That spin move kind of held me back a little bit, but I did pick up the first down. Once again, Lamar has to. Well, he had to move to the left-hand side. Didn't have to scramble through the ball and a very good catch. Our receivers have been having a very big year for us, and uh, because of that, we've been playing very well. Now you guys are seeing once again Lamar. Oh, my. I was saying Lamar is not that quarterback. He's not that guy to break tackles, but you guys are seeing he broke two on that last play. On the three-yard line, we are moving, we are throwing, and Michael Crabtree is there for the catch. Michael Crabtree is there for the touchdown, and he's having probably the best season of his NFL career. He is playing so well. Continuing on. The Tennessee Titans do not score, which means we are still up 7-0. And, oh, my, Willie Sneed the fourth. Willie Sneed the fourth with the huge catch. Everyone wants to play well. There goes Alex Collins for not many yards, but on third and ten right here. Empty trade formation. We throw the ball, and look who it is. Gilmore, oh, who? Oh, no. Gilmore fumbled. 
It looked like his elbow was down though. Can I please challenge this? Is there a way for me to challenge this? You guys are seeing. What do you think? I say elbow down, then ball out. Comment down below, let me know. Comment down below and let me know. Elbow down, ball out. The refs check the review and the ball is staying with us. Gilmore did not from the ball. There's Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson uses his speed and was able to bounce off his own dude, run into the end zone and score a touchdown. I have never seen anything like this in my life besides maybe Cam Newton when he's like playing at the top of his game, Michael Vick in his prime. I mean, the amount of broken tackles. Oh my, okay, Collins, I see you. He has been playing well too um, on this like second half of the season. What a bomb and look who was gone. Willie Sneed the fourth. Every single one of my receivers, man. I'm telling you, they have been turning up and helping the boy Lamar Jackson out. Even Alex Collins has been playing very well uh, as well. Second and eight, 21 to seven is the score. And look who is gone this time, Michael. Crabtree, what are you doing? There goes Perryman across the middle, and we know how much of a threat he is. The speed that he contains, the speed that he has is way too much for anybody in the NFL. And, oh, this could be one of maybe three, four picks Lamar has thrown all season long. He has not thrown that many interceptions. Um, and the score is still close, so hopefully our defense can play well and um, not give up a touchdown. Okay, well, they did not play well, and we gave him a touchdown. 21-14 is the score. Lamar Jackson is gone. He has too much speed, and we are going to run out of bounds, so we do not get tackled, and we do not fumble. We have been notorious for fumbling lately. We probably have more fumbles with Lamar this season than um, interceptions, to be honest. We're going to try to get some points before the half. 29 seconds, 28 seconds. There. Oh! I know you guys saw that. Smash that thumbs up button for that crazy Moss in the back of the end zone. Willie Sneed. Oh my goodness, the fourth. He has been playing like a man possessed, like one of the top receivers in the NFL. I mean, he's doing it all burning or uh, cornerbacks, not receivers, burning cornerbacks. He's also mossing cornerbacks. Running great routes against cornerbacks. And he has been a top player. There goes Lamar. And we're going to pick up the first down. Block for your boy. Block for your boy. And slide. Hit the cha-cha slide. Do not get hit. Do not get hurt. And do not fumble. All right. 28 to 14. What do you mean? Third quarter. Step up Lamar. And he does. One on one, one on one. Oh, hail Lamar Jackson. The incredible hurdle. He is doing exactly what he was doing in college. It has transitioned into the NFL and oh my goodness, look at the man. He has a plan and that is to do whatever it takes to win and oh my goodness, this time it's risking his, his career by going one-on-one -on -one with the defender, but this time he goes over him. He hurdles him. Get out the way, move, man. That's how we play all day. Now, there goes Lamar once again. Lamar does pick up a first down. He is moving, grooving, and he won't be stopped. Collins is doing the same. Look at the spin moves. We're handing the ball up a lot more than we have been in the past, than we have been earlier in this season because I have faith and trust in my running back now. I know that it only helps me to run the ball because if that's the case, Lamar's gonna have a lot more. Oh my gosh. The man, the kid, the boy. Willie Sneed is cooking, and there goes Alex Collins into the end zone for a touchdown. We have the most high powered offense I have ever been a part of. 
Lamar Jackson has been the most electrifying and explosive uh, quarterback I have ever used. This must be his golden ticket version because the man is a beast. And just like that, once again, we get another dub. Eight and one is our record, guys. Eight and one. The Ravens are sitting pretty at the top of the division. I have no idea what the Browns did. Uh, if they win, they go six and three. If they lose, they go five and four. And we are hoping that they lost, but Baker Mayfield hasn't playing well for them. Very well for them. Now you guys are seeing 128.2 QBR rating, 17 for 27, 340 yards, three touchdowns, and one pick. Marcus Mariota had himself a very good day. Lamar Jackson had 115 yards, two touches, um, two touchdowns, excuse me, on 10 rushes. Willie Sneed, 161 yards on two touchdown catches. On four catches alone, just four catches. Perryman had 61 yards on three catches. Now you guys are seeing right here. Five and four Browns. Five and four Steelers. The Steelers are catching up. They're playing well. And the second half of the season is looking very good for them. We seem to be in a very good spot to win this division. If we can keep balling, keep playing well, that will be the case. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up, turn on your notifications, and stay tuned for way more. I will see you guys later. And for now, you guys already know, your boy is signing.